Daniel, thank you for that full report. With students going back to school this week in September being Pro Suicide Prevention Month, it is important for parents, guardians, and educators to know the signs of students in distress. 12 News' Aaron Lawler brings us more. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, from 2013 to 2023, youth mental health and suicidal thoughts have worsened exponentially. The CDC says in 2023, 20% of all high school students considered attempting. One day when I'll get joy. Once I get this, I'll have peace. But peace and joy can't live in the future. Duncan Kirkwood is the director for Center of Resiliency at Villa Maria College. He has traveled the country teaching students, educators, and everyone in between about resilience, needs in education, and the power of social media. Kirkwood explains over the years he has seen that decline in mental health. So social media has been a major factor in eroding the self-esteem, the resilience of young people. And so all across the country, from coast to coast, that is the number one issue that schools say they see around mental health. It's how social media is affecting students because they're comparing themselves and their lives to what they're seeing in social media. With social media playing a huge role in young people's lives, Kirkwood says it is important to explain that it's not everyone's reality. Mary Pomerantz is the first social worker at Vessel High School. She was brought in just one year ago to help with high-risk assessments and work closely to help students. She tells 12 News that social media has been a growing issue, not just in the Vestal School District, but throughout Broome County. There are a lot of really good mental health resources on um, social media. However, um, we see a lot of, I don't think kids really understand the impact of um, what they're saying or posting on there and that it affects and how it affects other people. Kirkwood explains that parents must watch out for certain warning signs like children not being interested in extracurriculars anymore or being withdrawn from everything and ask the hard questions. Very important mm -hmm. that you ask that question. Have you thought about hurting yourself? And if they say yes, the follow-up question is, have you made a plan or an attempt? Right? And if the answer is yes, you need to immediately get them into counseling to a mental health professional. To, to yes to any of those questions. You need to get them some support and into counseling. Vestal School District is now partnered with Greater Binghamton Health Center. They have their own clinic in the counseling offices so students can have help anywhere at any time. Aaron Lawler, 12 News, Broome County.